All right, chapter uh, 15 in part two of Green Side Up is you better have good contracts. Now, I would say Ed is not a very litigious person. He says that he only su sued one customer in all of his years of business, and that's that's a pretty good running. Um, and that was simply because he, um, and, and it doesn't look like he got in many lawsuits with suppliers or anything else like that. But I would say, and based on what he says about contracts here, is that the one lawsuit that he did get in was because uh, uh, an HOA cut him out after two months on a one-year deal, and it wasn't his fault, and he had made a good offer, and you know, for whatever reason, um, they cut him short, and uh, and he was ticked, and uh, you know, and he tried to make it good, and he tried to do a great offer, and uh, eventually, he told them, you know, hey. I was going to only bill you for what I've already delivered, and that's fine, and even going to bill you half. And they wanted you know, a quarter of what, you know. So anyways, uh, long story short, he won because he had a good contract, and um, he won, took, him to law, took, him to, took him to court. Um, so the idea is that you need contracts. Um, there are in a lot of states, you know, if you send your price terms and offer, and you start to build a service that's maybe as good as a contract, it might not be the same in all states. So... Um, but what Ed says is have the contracts. You're going to need them. You're going to need them for your maintenance contracts, your installation contracts. You're going to need contracts for your suppliers, for your construction. And they're probably all different types of contracts. And so you need to get with um, um, you need to get with a good lawyer that's able to draft these um, now. And I would say you could probably generate a lot of them online these days and you can get cheap ones uh, generated for you. But you might want to get make sure that you get someone that really knows what you're doing. And as he says, also. When uh, you're in business and people start to submit their contracts to you, um, you know, uh, you don't necessarily try to always use your contract. Try always to use your contract wherever you can because you know it and you know what it is. Um, but if they send you one, send their contract to your lawyer. Have them look at it. Have them read it. He said, you know, one was so egregious that it was like, they, you know, they're not going to be responsible for anything and not even responsible for paying you, you know? I mean, he's like, what is this? And so he went back and redlined it to death. And so Ed's encouragement is to, you know, be courageous, you know, don't worry about it. It's not like you're going to lose the deal over sending a redline document back to someone because ultimately, you know, contractors and in this industry, people are love to negotiate. And that's just part of the process of negotiating is getting down to the terms um, so you need to decide what you want in your contracts and, um, and make sure they're reasonable. Be reasonable with your contracts. So take action with this idea of having good contracts. Work with an attorney. That's already been said a couple of times. So be specific to have remedies to decide um, what happens when a customer won't pay his bills. Um, have specific contracts for landscape and maintenance, construction, snow, different types of work require different types of contracts. I mentioned that. Uh, sign contracts with all your subcontractors. Oh, I forgot this one. And there's a big section on non-competes. Make sure that your um, your subcontractors have non-competes. You don't want them going to work in for for you know your other competitors and so forth. Um, especially if they're really super loyal to you and they're like you know having you know getting a majority of their business from you. Right. Um, so also your employees, sometimes employee non-compete agreements are um, unenforceable. Um, but, you know, you certainly don't want an employee leaving and then going straight to all your customers and like starting a business with your customers. That would not be good. Right. So um, even if they are potentially non-enforceable, Ed says, put it in there, put it in the contract, because, you know, who wants to start there if they're going out to start their own business? Who wants to start their own business with a lawsuit? and against something that they had agreed to. Um, include indemnification clauses in the contracts and with your subcontractors to relieve um, their liability. Um, have your key people assign non-competes. We just went over that. And, uh, and don't ever, ever sign a contract without having your attorney review it, period. This is our audio review summary of the book, Green Side Up, provided to you by Providence Trading Capital Partners, our little gift to you. So let's get on with the next part of the...